Royal Navy's Type 83 destroyer project, a replacement for the Type 45, will enter the concept phase early next year, announced in Parliament. Defense Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn answered the question when the concept and assessment phase for the Type 83 destroyer would officially begin. At current plans, Naval Command and TEF formally begin the concept phase for the Type 83 in early 2022 with an assessment phase to follow in due course, Quinn said. In March, Mr. Quinn had anticipated the initial timeframe for the Type 83 program to start in the next few years with the following assessment phase. Since the publication of the def The Royal Navy's Type 83 destroyer project, a replacement for the Type 45, will enter the concept phase early next year, announced in Parliament. Defense Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn answered the question when the concept and assessment phase for the Type 83 destroyer would officially begin. At current plans, Naval Command and TEF formally begin the concept phase for the Type 83 in early 2022 with an assessment phase to follow in due course, Quinn said. In March, Mr. Quinn had anticipated the initial timeframe for the Type 83 program to start in the next few years with the following assessment phase. Since the publication of the Defense Command paper earlier this year, the brief mention of Britain's new destroyer has raised questions from the military community and enthusiasts alike. The Type 83 has been registered as part of a UK shipbuilding overhaul and, according to the document, could begin to phase out the current Type 45 in the late 2030s. Few details have been disclosed about the warship's capabilities, although the Royal Navy has benefited from the Type 45's anti-air specialization since the first Daring-class destroyers were commissioned in 2009. Minister Quinn offered more information about when the concept and assessment phase for the Type 83 destroyer would officially begin. As of current plans, Naval Command intends to formally begin the concept phase for the Type 83 in early 2022 with an assessment phase to follow in due course, he said. The ability to eliminate aerial threats has earned the Type 45 a place in the formation of the British Carrier Attack Group, escorting HMS Queen Elizabeth. BAE Systems has encouraged the Royal Navy to engage with industry as early as possible regarding the Type 83 and Type 32 vessels that are part of the UK's future plans. The company said the technology intended for the new design could be demonstrated on the current fleet, while working towards a clean zero fleet could bring the Navy in line with climate initiatives. Definitive concept work on the Type 83 remains a few years away, but there are several key features likely under consideration. One is capacity for directed energy weapons such as lasers that can disable incoming drones and missiles at negligible cost per shot, potentially vital for defeating future swarming attacks. Such weapons, however, have high electrical power requirements and thus will require greater power generation and revised cabling. A future destroyer will likely have facilities to deploy its own unmanned aerial and or submarines drones at a minimum for maritime surveillance, if not also anti-submarine warfare and sea mine countermeasures. Most importantly there is the matter of the Type 83 sensors and missile armament, which could end up being an evolution of the present Sea Viper system or a new system entirely. Either way, the Royal Navy may not only want more missile cells, the latest US and Chinese destroyers have twice as many as the Type 45, but possibly deeper or wider ones which can accommodate larger long attack cruise missiles or longer range anti-ballistic missile interceptors. Arguably, ABM capability is a necessity for today's air defense warships due to the proliferation of anti-ship ballistic missiles like China's DF-21 D and DF-26B, which can attack warships from 1,000 miles away or further. Currently, the Type 45 can carry Aster 30 missiles in its 5-meter deep silver A-50 cells to intercept short and medium-range ballistic missiles. The A-50 reportedly will remain compatible with forthcoming Aster 30 Block 2 ABM missiles that can tackle intermediate-range ballistic missiles across a wide area. However, using the 7-meter deep silver A-70 system could allow the Type 83 to 
Fit already developed U.S. missiles, notably the SM-3 Block II and SM-6, which is a secondary surface attack capability. The A-70 also can accommodate Scout Storm Shadow Land Attack Cruise missiles, which the United Kingdom currently only mounts on aircraft. Integrating Storm Shadow or Tomahawk missile would give the Type 83 land attack capability, which the Royal Navy intends to bring back on its surface ships. The Type 83's vertical cells may also accommodate anti-ship missiles, allowing the Royal Navy to flexibly adjust the mix of anti-air and anti-ship weapons to the mission, rather than relying on external Harpoon anti-ship launchers. That's because the United Kingdom and France are developing solar-compatible hypersonic future cruise anti-ship weapon to enter service 2030s. Tech gun, stand by. The sea skimming missile would be able to split its warheads to strike up to three ships over 180 miles away. All in all, a large new destroyer could facilitate many potential configurations of weapons and sensors. That said additional capabilities also add to cost, complexity and weight, and risk diluting the destroyer's availability for its primary mission. on the radar. 